Good afternoon, everyone. I am Mrs. Arzbet Ann Amon, team leader for grades 2 to 4, and I will be your moderator for this open house. At this point, we request everyone to spend some moments in silence as we prepare for our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most loving Father, model of parenthood, teach us to become good parents. Teach us what we should teach our children and what we should withhold from them. Help us to listen to them with patience and to answer their questions with kindness. Show us when we should reprove them and when we should praise them. Give us the imagination to enter into their world in order to understand and guide them. Teach us to always love our children, even if we sometimes do not understand them. Grant us all the virtues we need to lead them by word and example in the path of righteousness. And most of all, give us the love we need to nurse their light. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Jesus, light of the world, let our light shine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Again, a pleasant afternoon to everyone, and welcome to grades 2 to 4 open house for school year 2020 to 2021. To give today's opening remarks, let us all welcome our school president, Father Aristotle D. of the Society of Jesus. Good afternoon, dear parents. Good afternoon, uh, dear faculty and staff of Saber School, New Valley. Here we are in another milestone in the life of our school, just like the pre-enrollment parents orientations that we held online. Here we are again for an online open house. The classroom is going, the classroom, the school year is going to start in just about a month, July 22. So I hope you've all already enrolled. Or if you're here to help you still make up your mind, I hope this afternoon's session is going to be helpful. What we have in store for you is really a kind of sampler just to give you an idea of what the online learning experience is going to look like, is going to feel like. And that is the big experience that we have prepared for you. Our grade two to four teams have been working very hard to prepare this, so I thank and congratulate them in advance. Once again, a warm greetings to all our parents, and I wish you all a very pleasant, very enriching, very meaningful afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father Ari. At this point, let me just give an overview of what you are about to watch in the next 60 minutes. We originally planned for a live class to be conducted today. However, from our technical preparations, we discovered that if we had done that, you would not be able to see what the entire class would look like from an observer's point of view, and we'll just see the teacher's slides. The experience may not be as helpful as if you were to see from a wider perspective, meaning that you will also be able to see students' reactions, students' working, and student behavior together with what the teacher is doing. To make this possible, we conducted the live class and recorded the session instead. The live recording with all its messiness is what you will watch today. Because we wanted to have, or we wanted you to have an idea of what the different blocks could look like, the recording will feature three types of sessions. The prayer that starts each school day, a shortened literacy block, and a shortened numeracy block. We will also show you some of students' works. Please know that the participants in the demo class underwent an orientation on the routines and the apps that were used in the online class. However, the class that you are about to watch is not rehearsed, and what you will see are the spontaneous reactions and behaviors of students as they interact with the teachers. Kindly note that the teachers will not dive deep into the lessons given, given the limited time that they have. Instead, please just focus on the types of activities that will be done. The activities shown are by no means an exhaustive repertoire of the tech tools that will be used. 
rest assured that during the school year, judicious use of the most appropriate online and offline resources will be utilized. As you watch the video, please take advantage of the Q&A box, not the chat box, to surface your feedback about the demo class. We recognize that we still have a lot to learn, and as such, your comments are most welcome. Good morning, everyone. I am Mrs. Nunez. Let us begin our session with a prayer. May I request everyone to sit properly. Let us put ourselves in a peaceful disposition and observe prayerful silence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving and generous Father, you have given us everything that you think we need. When we ask, you do not hesitate to hear us. When we seek, you always help to find what we are looking for. And when we fail, you are always ready to give us the strength we need to face our challenges every day. Your generosity moves us to be generous. Change our minds and hearts to think of others. Make our hands and feet instruments of giving and being of service to those who are in need. Teach us to choose to offer our time, talent, and treasure to the people we meet every day. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our companion, our way. Amen. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us. Jesus, light of the world, let our light shine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, so that's a wonderful way to start the day, right? Okay, I just want to know if everyone is here. And to check, I will ask a magic question, okay? When I call your name, you have to unmute yourself and tell me your answer to the question that I will post later. Okay? You don't have to explain your answer. Okay? Now, so here's the magic question. What is the best gift you have ever received? I will give you a minute to think about it. And your one minute starts now. seconds left. Okay, this time, I want you to be very attentive so that when I call your name, you can unmute your microphone and just mention your answer right away. Again, you don't need to explain your answer, okay? So, let us begin with mm, M. My family. Wow, I like that answer. How about... Clarice. 
My parents. Great. Annika, how about you? Annika, what's the best gift that you have ever received? My sister. Wow, that's so sweet. Okay, let's have Mo for a dog. Okay, thank you, Mo. And I think Lisa is ready. Yes, My Lisa, what's your answer? My family. Wow, your family also. How about Zoe? My teachers, my siblings, and my parents. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much for your answers. I am really happy to know the best gift that you have received. Okay? So, I hope that you express your appreciation or gratefulness. Okay? To, to the person or, of course, to God who gave you those gifts. Okay? Because they have been so generous. To you okay so in today's prayer I mentioned about the virtue of generosity okay so generosity is one of today's virtues okay and generosity is the quality of being kind and generous being generous means giving without expecting anything in return so I want you to focus on your screen right now and try to identify the different ways where the virtue of cooperation is shown at this time of the, you know, the pandemic. All right? So, look at it. You can see there the frontliners, the delivery personnel, the nurses, and the doctors. Okay? They show generosity because they are what? Giving their time, their talent, and all their effort to help out other people. Okay? So, you probably don't realize, okay, that you also practice the virtue of generosity every time you give attention or, a, yeah, attention to the person speaking during class. So another example is also giving more time and effort in helping out a sibling probably in understanding a book by reading it together. Okay? So in those little ways, you are actually showing generosity. All right? So in our previous session, we talked about proper behavior online. So who else can still remember those things that we discussed last time to make sure that we have a flawless and a great class? If you wish to answer, use the raise hand feature and wait for Mrs. Nunez to recognize you before you unmute your microphone. Let's see who's raising their hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zoe. Can you tell me one proper online behavior that you remember? Don't talk to your classmates that often and don't use the chat box unless you. Wow, that's a brilliant answer. Can I have one more? Mm, I think I can see Annika raising her hand. Annika, you can unmute your microphone now. Always be on time. That's also correct. Always be on time. You don't want to be late with all the activities that your teachers prepared for you for that day, right? Okay, so I am actually very proud. I know that others can remember some of the other guidelines, okay? And I am very proud of you. You remember some of the most important behavior that we have to follow online. So, can you use the clap feature to recognize everyone's effort? May I see? Use the clap feature, or you can show me in your, on your screen clapping. There you go. Very good. Great. Great. Okay. Oh, it's already time for your lit. Literacy block with Miss Salazar. I heard that exciting activities await you. Well, don't forget to enjoy. Bye.
Hi, everyone. Wow, you are all looking smart. Okay, I, I really love seeing you every day. You know why? Because your smile gives me lots of energy. Okay, can I see people smiling and seated tall? Okay, so while preparing, just a reminder, this is not just a story time. Well, this is called a super story time. And when I say super story time, there is something more than the usual, right? Okay, so just a reminder, if you need to go to the bathroom, all you need to do is send in a message to Ms. Salazar. If you get disconnected, tell your parents, don't panic, mom. We can just join, join the meeting again using the link provided. Is that clear? All right, can I get a thumbs up? If you hear me clearly, all right, use the reaction feature of our Zoom app. Okay, Zoe did it, Mo did it, Annika did it, everyone did it. Perfect. Now, I want to start our session for this morning by asking you a question. Are you afraid of spiders? Hmm. Wow, Annika was saying, no, I'm not afraid of spiders. Are you guys afraid of spiders? Oh, um... Uh, M said, no, I'm not afraid of spiders. Mo said, Mo is smiling. Mo, are you afraid of spiders? <laughs> Jay, are you afraid? Wow! Is it possible that Jay predicted the story for today and he is wearing a Spider-Man shirt right now? Wow. All right. Well, have you, have you seen a spider before? Not if yes. Mm -hmm. How about a spider web? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, just a question, where do you think might we, or where do you think you might see spider web? Anyone who wants to answer can raise his or her hand. Annika, where do you think can we see a spider web? Don't forget to unmute yourself first before answering. Go ahead. Outside. Outside the house, okay. How about the others? M, where do you think can we see a spider web? Somewhere old and dusty. <laughs> Somewhere old and dusty, okay. How about Clarice, where do you think? The tree. Okay, the tree, okay. Now, for today, I told you that we're in for a treat because this is another Eric Carl book entitled A Very Busy Spider. Last time we discussed a very quiet cricket. Right now we're going to discuss a very busy spider. Now, are you ready to listen to the story? Mm -hmm. Yes, can I get a thumbs up? Use your action button and your Zoom application. Perfect. Everyone is catching up. Well, before that, let's unlock some words. Again, I might need to hear your beautiful voice. I might need you to, to read some of the sentences. Let's start. Before that, can you please um, use, no need to unmute yourself, repeat after Ms. Salazar. Everybody say, nay. Good. Bleat. All right. Silk. Okay, now these are the three words that we will be learning for today. Okay, let's know what the word nay means. Who wants to read the next, or who wants to read the sentence? Oops, I think um, I will read the sentence for everyone, okay? The animal neighed when it saw the farmer coming. Well, the word neigh means high-pitched sound uttered by a horse. Not a dog, not a cat, but a horse. How about the next sentence? Who wants to read the next sentence? Hmm, I want to call someone who is smiling. Jay, can you please read to us the sentence? Don't forget to unmute. 
I heard a loud bleat in the what? In the what? Farm. In the farm. In the farm last night. Oh, you heard a loud bleat in the farm last night. Well, the bleat, but the meaning of the word bleat is a cry that is made by a goat, sheep, or a cow. Last sentence, can I have someone who is really paying attention right now? Can I have Clarice to read this sentence? Can you please read this sentence? She wore silk pajamas and a woolen sweater. All right, so she wore silk pajamas. Where, when do we wear pajamas? Do we wear pajamas in the mall? No. <laughs> All right. We wear pajamas during our bedtime. Well, silk is a fine, strong, soft fiber produced by silkworms. Oh, silk are produced by silkworms to make thread and fabric. Well, just a science fact because I told you that I am also a science teacher. Here's a science trivia for everyone. A tarantula well, it's a kind of spider, has eight eyes. But even though yeah, it has eight eyes, its eyesight is poor. <laughs> what? How come you have eight eyes, but then your eyesight is poor? Oh, no. Now that brings us to the story for this morning. Again, I need students whose eyes are watching, whose ears are listening whose lips are closed, and whose hands and feet are still. This is the story by Eric Carl, The Very Busy Spider. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near the farmyard and began to spin her silky thread. Hey, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was busy spinning her web. Hmm. Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was busy spinning her web. <laughs> Bah, bah, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was busy spinning her web. Oh, the spider is so busy. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. Again, she was so busy spinning her web. Oh, this spider is so busy. Oink, 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 oink. Oh, I can do the pig sound. <laughs> Grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? Can you guess what the spider answered? Well, it didn't answer because she was busy spinning her web. Woof, woof. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was busy spinning her web. Oh, this is such a busy spider. Can you read or can you make a cat sound? Who here knows how to make a cat sound? Em, can you please help me read this one? Meow, meow, cried the cat. Want to take a nap? Want to take a nap? Well, you guess what the spider answered? Because it didn't. She was busy spinning her web. Next one. Can you make a duck sound? Hmm. Jane, can you please make a duck sound? Quack, quack. <laughs> Want to go for a swim? Want to go for the swim? Well, you know what the spider answered. She was busy spinning her web. Anyone who can make 
the rooster sound. Zoe, can you please make the rooster sound? <laughs> Crowed the rooster. Want to catch some pesky fly? The spider caught the fly in her web. Just like that. Hmm. Anyone can make the owl sound. Mo, I can see that your eyes become bigger. Can you make the owl sound? Unmute yourself, please. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Ask the owl, who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. This time, she was not busy. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. And that's the end of our story, The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. Did you like the story? Hmm? Did you like the voices? Can you give me a thumbs up if you like the story? Can I see reaction button? Using the reaction button, wow, okay, I love that my student enjoyed the story because these kids here love the story as well. Now, I want to know, if you want to ask the busy spider something, what will you ask her? Hmm. Maybe 10 seconds to think of a question for the busy spider. Oh, I saw students raising their hands already. Jay, what would you ask the busy spider? Oops, don't forget to unmute your microphone. I would ask to, I would ask the spider to, you know what? I would ask the spider to swing around. <laughs> to swing around and have fun because it was so busy. Yes. Wow, thank you, Jay. How about the rest? Zoe? I tell, I'd ask the spider to play with me. Oh, to play with you because you want then the spider to have fun, right? All right. So, you know, what's next after this? You were given your seesaw literacy block code. And I prepared another seesaw activity called Knock Knock. Who's there, you ask? A very busy student. And that is you. You are a very busy student. In this activity, you will show a list of the things that you do at home. Do not go to the CISO application yet. Listen to Ms. Salazar's instruction. You have to tap the add response button. Using the camera button, take a photo of yourself at home. You can be seated, you can be doing a selfie, you can do this face, it's up to you. Using the label button, list Three things that you do that keeps you busy. Do you do or do you um, play games? Do you read books? And click on check button once you're done. Don't forget to like and comment on your classmates' work. This is going to be your worksheet. Now I am giving you the time to go to the Seesaw app. If you are using your laptop, all you need to do is press escape and go to Chrome. In the address bar, type app.seesaw.me. If you are using your iPad, just double tap the home button and go to the Seesaw application. You are going to have three minutes for the knock-knock activity on Seesaw, okay? I want to know what you do at home. Okay, once you're done, you can go back to the Seesaw application. All right, I will be waiting. Mm. I'm excited to see your selfies and your pictures. Oh, I saw someone did it already. Wow, good job. Very quick. Hmm. Impressive. 
You have two minutes to complete this TESA activity. Once you're done, you can go back to the Zoom application so that we can talk. All right. Last one minute, everyone. All right, good job everyone. I can see that, I can see beautiful smiles in your work. I love seeing your smiles. Last 30 seconds. Did you have fun doing the activity, Annika? What? Did you have fun, Clarice? What are the activities that you've listed? You can unmute yourself. Story. Um, the story? No, the activities that you listed in your seesaw activity. Uh, read my books. Uh -huh. Fixing my bed. Fixing my bed. Wow, you fix your bed. It's a good activity. Okay, I hope, uh, thank you Clarice. I hope everyone is with us right now. Because I want everyone to give themselves a tap in the back and say, you know what to say. Good job, sir. Say it in a different voice. So it's as if somebody else is saying it to you. Okay, one, two, three. Good job, sir. All right. Now, a while ago, we read a story by Eric Carl. And... It teaches us that we can do great and beautiful things if we work hard. Do you believe that? Can I, can I see a thumbs up if you believe that? All right, perfect. Now, before I end my session with you, I prepared a song. Because I told you this is a super storytelling session. This song is just like the song, The Farmer in the Dell. You know the tune? The farmer in the dell, the farmer in the dell. Well, I changed the lyrics. I will sing it first, and you will follow singing at home. One, two, three. The spider spins a web, the spider spins a web. Round and round, good and strong, the spider spins a web. <laughs> now that song is about the story, right? So I hope you enjoyed reading and listening to the story, The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. I will be checking your work later and commenting on it. I hope to see lots of beautiful smiles. For now, you will be having a two-minute health break. What do we do on health break? You can stretch your arms, you can drink water, you can go to the bathroom and after two minutes, you have to go back here for your numeracy block with Mrs. Salazar. Thank you so much for actively participating. Thumbs up if you had fun today using the reaction button. Thumbs up. All right. Thank you so much. That's it for me today. Bye. MJ. All right. I think we're complete now. So... Okay, can I see students who are seated upright? And I want to see your brightest smile before we dis begin our numeracy block. All right, so hi, a blessed morning everyone. This is Mrs. Salazar, your numeracy block teacher, welcoming all of you to today's session. Before we start, make sure that you have your writing materials with you, either a whiteboard and marker, or pencil and paper. And another thing, always be mindful of your proper behavior during class as per discussed in the previous session. All right, are you excited for a fun learning session in numeracy class today? Show me a thumbs up sign. Can you press that reaction button? Okay, so I know 
that you're ready to begin. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, let's begin our session with number patterns. Based on our previous session, you have learned that a number pattern refers to a number or sequence in a series of numbers. You were also able to form number patterns using several strategies. Okay. Today, you will be challenged, okay, to explore more activities that I have prepared for you today. We'll start with a quick checkup drill of what you have learned through a review drill. So I have here with me pictures from your story earlier. So you can see a barn. What do we have in the barn? So we visited the barn and saw some animals that could help us start creating our first set of number patterns. Let's try it together. In the barn, we saw three horses. So take note of the three. Hmm. We can use three to start our number pattern. Take note that the rule of the pattern to be followed is to add five, I mean, is to add 10, okay? So beginning with three as our starting number, okay, how do we complete our number pattern? Okay. <coughs> Reminder, the rule here is to add 10. Okay, I can see Zoe. Yes, Zoe, can you unmute your mic? Oh, it's already unmuted. Yes, you can share your answer. 3 plus 10 is 13. Yes. Followed by? 13 plus 10 is 23. 23, right. 23, then 43. Very good, Zoe. You did it correctly. Hmm. Next, I'm wondering what else did we see in the barn? Yes, we saw 15 cows. Let us use 15 as our starting number. Okay, for the next pattern, don't forget the rule here is to add 100. Okay, so let's see the pattern here. Starting with 15. Who can complete our pattern here? You can raise your hand. Yes, Mo. You can unmute your microphone. 115. Very good. Next. 215. 215. You're right. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Okay. I will go back, okay, can, uh, okay, yes, you, you can proceed, yes? 115. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, just disregard the typographical error you see on the screen, but you're right, Mo, I'll just repeat the correct number pattern here, it's 15, 115, 215, 200. 15 and then 315 and then 415. I will get back to that later, okay? So let's have the next set of animals here we saw in the barn. We saw 4,500 spiders, all right? So with this, let's have 4,500 as our starting number, okay? Take note that the rule here is subtracting, okay, a thousand, okay? So if it's subtracting, take note of the numbers. It should get smaller. Okay. Let's, let's have another student. Yes, Jay, can you share your answer? Yes. Unmute your microphone, please. Four. Ah, the four. So, 3,500. 3,500. Okay, very good. 2,500. Yes. 1,500. Yes. And 500. 500. Okay, very good, Jay. You're right. Okay, next animal that we saw in the barn. Okay, th those are the spiders. Okay, now we proceed to the seesaw activity. I think you're all warmed up and ready for the seesaw activity for this part. Okay, you have to log into your numeracy class using your own numeracy codes that were already sent to your parents. Again, for laptop users, kindly double tap your Zoom application screen, then proceed to your browser to go to Seesaw, all right? And for iPad users, you may simply press 
the home button and then tap the icon for the CISO application. You will be given three minutes to log in to your CISO account and your three minutes starts now. Go. All right, if you're done logging in, can you show me a thumbs up sign? Okay, Jay, are you done logging in? Okay, yes, thank you, Jay. Anne is also done. How about Annika? Okay. I'm not done. My learning is already expired. Okay, it's fine. Okay, you can lower your hand now. M, okay, I'm gonna mute your microphone, please. So here you have your activity in Seesaw. Can you see it on the screen? Okay, I can see you nodding. So I'll just give you the instructions that, that you need to do later, okay? On your whiteboard or any clean sheet of paper, you have to create your own number pattern by listing down five numbers. Each number should have three or four digits, okay? Then post it as a photo here on Seesaw. So you have to take a picture of it, okay? So I'll give you three minutes for this activity. So you may start writing it down and then take a photo, okay, of your answer. Your timer starts now. Okay, all right. Okay, may I see a thumbs up sign? If you are done, okay, and it's fine if you're still working on it, okay? You still have one minute and probably 40 seconds, okay, left. All right, Clarice is done. Don't show it yet, okay? Actually, we will see it on the screen, so. I'll check. Okay, four already submitted their work. Okay, let's try to see. While waiting, you can like or comment on your classmates' work, okay? So let's see here, who are able to submit their works. Okay, we have Jay here. Okay, Clarice. Okay, Zoe. Mo. Okay. Four already submitted. Okay, another one submitted. It's Annika. Thank you. Okay, let's see Annika's work. You can like or comment on your classmates' work while waiting, okay? Okay, so for Clarice, you did a great job here, but don't uh, forget, okay, uh, my instruction was take a photo, okay? But it's fine as long as you have your output there, all right? So next time, um, be careful when you choose the icon, okay? This one is for no, okay? But nonetheless, it's still the correct number pattern, all right? Let's try to refresh and see. Okay. There you go, Annika's work. Okay, can you see Annika's work? Okay. So now, okay. I will, okay. I will uh, take as an example the one, okay. Okay, this one from Mo. Okay, Mo, can you unmute your microphone and read your answers? Uh, I can't really see my answer because... Uh, you just read it on your whiteboard. 145, 155, 165, 175, and 185. Okay, very good. That's correct, Mo. Good job. May I know from your fellow classmates. What is the rule of the pattern that Mo used here? 
What do you think? You can raise your hand. Can you tell us the rule of the pattern here? Okay, look at most given numbers. Can you see most numbers? Yes? What's the rule here? The numbers get bigger. So is it adding or subtracting? Yes, who can answer? Raise your hand. Yes, Clarice? You can unmute your microphone. and then... Adding by 10. Very good. Okay, actually Mo already put it there. You're right. I just hid it. Okay, let's try. So this one from Zoe. Okay, she's advanced already. Besides the complete number pattern, she put the rule of the pattern. So it's 430, okay, and then 540, and then 650, and then 760, and then 870. That's adding by 110. Wow, very good, Zoe. Okay, let's have, okay. Okay, I would say, I will choose Jay's answer because he just put there the number pattern. Let's try to figure out the rule here. But first, Jay, can you read your answers here? 200, 250, 300, and then lastly, 350. Very good, Jay. That's a correct number pattern. Let's ask your classmates, what do you think is the rule of the pattern from Jay's answer? Yes, Zoe. 150 is it by 150 let's double check i'll give you a, okay a few seconds look at look at it again from 200 it jumped to 250 and then from 250 plus 50 okay you got it right zoe the rule here is add 50 very good so now may i request you if you are still on seesaw can you okay close your seesaw um uh, screen and then go to the Zoom application now, okay? So very good, everyone. So you were able to, you were able to explain well your answers. Okay, so now I have to go back to what we've had earlier and just be clear and let, let's have another, um, run through of this about the 15 counts all right so i want to be clear here that we started with 15 and then when we add 100 it's 115 who answered earlier this one is it was it mo was it mo earlier yes okay and then mo can you continue your answer here 215. Okay, 215 and then followed by 315 and then lastly 415. Okay, very good, Mo. Okay, now are we clear on that? Can you give me a thumbs up sign? Okay, so we're able to complete the correct number pattern. Now, I have here, okay, number patterns 101. It's like giving tips. So with our topic today, I want you to answer this question. What helpful tip can you give your classmate who is having a hard time completing a correct number pattern? Any strategy that you want to share? Any helpful tip? Okay, raise your hand if you have a tip. Yes, Zoe, any helpful tip? You can either skip count or plus or minus. Wow, so you're able to mention about basic number skills like addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Very good job, Zoe. Let's have another one. Any strategy that you use for number patterns? Yes, Jay. I can just add, I can add 200. Oh, I, I heard you use the word hundreds, okay? Did you, do, did you do it repeatedly? When you say adding, okay, yes, that's a, okay, a way to do pattern, okay? So it's talking about place values this time for Jay. Very good, Jay, for your sharing. So with that, okay, I hope that you're able to learn a lot of things today, okay? 
and I must commend you today that you really did an awesome job, okay? Because you're able to participate and show good behavior today. So awesome. Keep it up, okay? To end our session today, let's end with, with a math prayer. Can you still remember your math prayer? Of course. Let's unmute, okay, each other's microphones, and then let's pray together. Okay, let's put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord all together. In the name of the Father, the Father and of Son, the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear God, God, thank you for our blessings. Add purity to the world. Subtract evil from our lives. Multiply the goodness of your Son, Jesus. And divide your gifts and share them with other people. Okay, St. Francis Savior. Pray for us. Jesus of Loyola. Pray for us. Light of the world. Let our light shine. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, guys, and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you. Okay, parents, we have come to the end of our program. And to give us the closing remarks, may we call on Mrs. Arlene Chu, our principal. So good afternoon. If we have um, grade two to grade four students on board, hello, good afternoon. And we will be seeing you on campus when the school year starts, but we'll be seeing you online. So let me begin by thanking the parents and the children who agreed to take part in the demo class. This open house could not have been possible without their generous and active participation. Allow me also to thank the team of teachers, including our collaborators from Savior School San Juan, for the hard work exerted in preparing for this open house. They prepared for this in the midst of all the training and preparations for the school year. What you saw this afternoon is a sampler of what will transpire during the school year. You may have noticed that at the start of the class, the teachers spent time preparing the students, starting with the prayer and setting expectations for the day. This will be a regular daily activity that will include check-in sessions to ensure that the teachers are in touch with how the students are doing. Context, after all, is very important in our way of proceeding. For this particular class day, the teacher gave an orientation regarding the use of the applications that will be used for the day, both for Zoom and Seesaw. Kindly note that an orientation about the main applications that will be used um, for the school year will be conducted in July. We know that while the use of Seesaw is something that some of our students are already familiar with, they still need to get used to shifting from one application to another. Rest assured that even as we start the school year in July, time will be spent orienting the students on routines, protocols, and classroom rules and the use of applications as well. Expect that at the beginning, there may be lag time during actual classes and we may be off to a slower start than the usual. But once both the teachers and the students become more familiar with each other and in navigating the different apps, Daily routines and classroom management will become less managing, will become less challenging. One scenario that can easily happen is for the teacher to get disconnected from the internet. When this happens, another teacher will be present to continue where she left off. We have assigned teacher support personnel for the different sections to make sure that continuity of activities should will take place should this situation arise. We recognize that technical glitches are unavoidable and even students may experience this. Thus, the need for assistance from the adult in the house. Even I have been assigned to be a class assist in kindergarten. So I need to catch up on the training in the use of online applications that the teachers are doing in preparation for the opening of classes. 
maybe Mrs. Amon and Mrs. Garcia, I can also be assigned to grades two to four. So I can also see and interact with other kids in primary. If the teachers will welcome me in their classrooms. Preparing for this open house was a productive experience for the team of teachers as well. It allowed us to experience practical concerns that we will need to address when classes are conducted online. It served as a mini dry run for all of us. And the feedback that you typed in the Q&A box today will also go a long way in helping us see how else we can improve Excel. We hope that you have enjoyed this afternoon's presentation. The invitation for the orientation of parents in July will be sent to the email address you registered in the parents portal during enrollment. Kindly check our Facebook page regularly as well as we will be doing a dry run of sending e-circulars to your email address. Communication from the school will be sent via this channel. So we hope that you enjoyed this afternoon's open house. Thank you for spending the time with us. Grade two to grade four students, see you online in July. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Chu. Dear parents, this ends our open house for grades two to four. We will make the link to the recording of this session available on our school website. Thank you very much. Please stay safe and healthy. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.